For many years, Princess Latifa planned to escape from Dubai to free herself from her abusive father. However, her desperate attempt failed. Sheikh Mohammed brought her back to the palace and did something terrible to her. For many years, no one knew where she was and what was happening to her. The Free Latifa campaign was held all over the world. So what did the ruler of Dubai do with her and where is she now? Keep watching to find out all the dark secrets of the Dubai royal family. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is one of the richest monarchs in the world with a fortune of 15 billion dollars. Thanks to him, Dubai has turned from a desert into one of the most developed and modern cities in the world. That is why Sheikh Mohammed is called the ruler or king of Dubai. However, like any monarch, the Sheikh has a complex character. He is domineering, persistent and sometimes cruel. In 2019, one of his wives, Princess Haya, ran away from him and accused him of abuse. In total, Sheikh Mohammed was married at least six times and has dozens of children from different wives. You might think how lucky it must be to be the son or daughter of the richest sheik in the world. They have a lot of money, they live in a luxurious palace and don't know any problems. However, you are mistaken if you really think that their life is carefree. And you will understand why when you learn the story of Princess Latifa, one of the daughters of Sheikh Mohammed. Just believe, no one would want to be in her place. What happened to her was just horrible. Sheikha Latifa was born in 1985. Her mother is the Algerian beauty Huria Lamara, who was married to Sheikh Mohammed and bore him four children. But Latifa didn't grow up with her birth family. She never knew motherly love. She and her younger brother were taken away as babies and presented as gifts to their father's childless sister. Life in the aunt's palace was horribly suffocating. She lived with dozens of other children who were raised by governesses. Her aunt rarely visited and when she did she was cruel. Latifa rarely saw her mother, she felt miserable and lonely. And this was probably the first cruel act towards her of her father. However, even in this difficult environment, where she did not know parental love, she had a little hope. At her aunt's palace she met her cousin Shamsa, who was four years older. She was full of life and adventure. Latifa wrote, a real thrill-seeker, but also a compassionate person. One day Shamsa demanded that her younger sister and brother be sent home. Since then Latifa has grown to love Shamsa even more. She saw in her the figure of a mother and best friend. Thanks to Shamsa, Latifa returned home and began to live with her mother, and Sheikh Mohammed visited them from time to time. Latifa admired Shamsa because she was rebellious and freedom-loving. Shamsa hated the restrictions in the royal family. She wanted to drive, travel and study. She hated wearing the abaya. Shamsa could not bear it when her father forbade her to go to college. So she decided to run away from her family, but her attempt failed. Sheikh Mohammed treated his disobedient daughter cruelly. Shamsa was forcibly locked up in the palace, where the bodyguards tranquilized her. After that, she lost her will, her love of life and ceased to be herself. Young Latifa was shocked when she found out what happened to her sister. She realized that she could no longer stay in such a terrible place. And she also decided to run away. She made her first escape attempt at the age of 16. However, she was captured at the Emirati Omani border and returned to Dubai. Latifa was imprisoned for three years and four months. She stated that she was kept in solitary confinement there and constantly tortured. She slept on a thin mattress in the same clothes she had worn since her escape. She had no soap or toothbrush. I was treated worse than any animal, she wrote. After her imprisonment, she returned to her mother's house and continued her former life. However, she was determined to repeat her escape. For many years, she prepared for the second attempt. 
Latifa learned to swim and took up extreme sports to become stronger and more resilient to escape. She also found assistants who were supposed to help her make fake documents and cross the border. In 2018, she made a second escape attempt. The plan was for Latifa to make her way to India and Sri Lanka, where she would use her fake passport to fly to the US and seek asylum. But in the middle of the Arabian Sea, a team of armed men stormed the boat and forced Latifa back to Dubai. At the same time, a 39-minute video that Latifa recorded before her escape was released. In it, she explained why she decided to run away. She also accused her father of cruelty towards her and her cousin Shamsa. After that, for a long time, no one knew what happened to Latifa and how she felt. People all over the world who watched her touching video were outraged by this story. That's why the Free Latifa campaign started. People demanded that Latifa be released and be able to live the way she wants. Representatives of the royal family of Dubai said that Latifa returned home and everything is fine with her. However, no one believed them. Only a year later it became clear that Latifa had been held captive all this time in a private villa in Dubai. It turned out that this time after the escape, Latifa was not only tortured but also tranquilized. I want them to be embarrassed that it took the Navy, several warships, armed commanders, three tranquilizer injections and an hour-long struggle to put an unarmed pin-sized woman on a jet," Latifa wrote. She regained consciousness in Dubai. I remember tears just streaming down my face, she wrote. It was the worst feeling in the world to be back in the hell hole after being so close to freedom. The first time after the capture, Latifa was placed in the desert prison of al -Avir. There she was in solitary confinement with darknet windows, where she was mistreated. However, later, when her video was published on the internet, they began to treat her better. After that, she was moved to her own villa in Dubai with bars on the windows. The villa was constantly patrolled by security guards, and Latifa was being held prisoner. The public around the world was outraged, despite the fact that the royal family of Dubai assured that the princess was safe and everything was fine with her, people continued to demand that Latifa be released. It wasn't until 2021 that the Free Latifa campaign ended. The princess was photographed in public places in Dubai, Spain and Iceland. Everyone finally saw that Latifa lives in freedom. Probably under the influence of the public, Sheikh Mohammed still had to let his daughter go. The last photo of Princess Latifa was posted on Instagram in April 2023. The picture shows the princess standing in front of the Swarovski Crystal Worlds attraction in Austria. A statement has been published alongside the image, saying, I want to share my sincere gratitude to everyone who has shown compassion towards me over the past few years. In that time, my life has changed in so many ways, and I am looking forward to the next chapter. It turns out that now Princess Latifa is completely free, can travel and do whatever she wants. We hope it's true. However, in any case, this doesn't negate the fact that the Dubai royal family continues to control women and restrict their freedom. It seems that Dubai is a modern developed city and Sheikh Mohammed is trying to improve the status of women in the Middle East. However, even in the own family of the ruler of Dubai, women cannot feel free and manage their lives. The patriarchal system of control over a woman's life is an outdated and terrible phenomenon. Don't you think so? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time!